going on YouTube? Welcome back to the shop. Uh, we're actually back in my buddy Packer's garage from a long break because of COVID. So excited to be here. Lots happened with the car. Last time we were here, the engine was out of the car. And if you look now, the engine's in it. So in this episode, we're gonna go over what he's done during uh, quarantine. And actually we've, we've got a first start video to share with you to prove that all that stuff we did in the beginning part of the series worked out. Uh, we'll start the car, and we're actually getting this thing ready for uh, a shakedown at Summit Point this weekend. So, at least for half of this multi-part series, getting back on track, this car will hopefully make it this weekend. If you're just now joining us, getting back on track is a multi-part series where me and my buddy James Packer are getting our E36 track cars uh, back on the track. So, thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out the previous videos, and uh, here we go. All right, here's a rundown. Oh, here's the <laughs> rundown. What's our sit rep? <laughs> uh, two years in the making uh, to get, get back on track with this. So tonight we dropped the transmission in, put the intake manifold on. Man, I, there's so much, <laughs> so much. Rebuilt the uh, fuel injectors and there's no antifreeze or no coolant in it, no water. We just basically have the bare minimums hooked up right now so that we can see if it'll just start. Um, fresh oil in it, and yeah, uh, still still a lot to do, but if this turns over and starts, um, it'll make my year. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, special thanks to Bimmer World for all their great advice and quick service, getting all the parts as soon as I needed them. Uh, Condor Speed Shop for uh, the, the motor mounts and the transmission mounts. Uh, some great stuff there. Um, <clears throat> you should change your labels so they're right side up. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's uh, let's give it a shot. See what happens. It's gonna oh, be loud. And by the way, I think it's like uh, past midnight, and um, we're about, about to wake up all the neighbors. Twelve thirty, quarter of one. Yeah. You'll probably have to crank for a while. Yeah. We had the fuel disconnected, so hopefully the battery is good. Solid start. Sounds like the starter is not grabbing the flywheel. It is not. <laughs> well, the windshield wipers work. Um, well, there's that start. There, there you go. Troubleshooting. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> How is that not hitting it? Pretty anticlimactic. I'm gonna stop filming for now. Well, that was pretty shitty. All right, take two. Um, <laughs> Josh, you're gonna have to edit this. Yeah, lots of <laughs> editing, Josh. So here, here we go, it's now 15 minutes later. Um, we gave our neighbors some some sleep, extra sleep before we disrupt them. Uh, but here we go. Well, hopefully we have the starter wired in correctly to get it to engage. We're not totally sure, but We'll see. Send it. can't tell he's slightly happy. Just a little bit. <laughs> How long was that? We're oh. coming up on uh, 11 months. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, no drama. That was amazing. It sounded good too. Yeah, it did. I mean, we weren't hearing any weird, why is that slapping Blah, 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 it was just... It's that premium Walmart oil that's in there. I tell you, I think that's I think that's what it is right there. Just the Walmart oil. Never mind all the hard work from Andrew Elmore and Fix It Bong Bong <laughs> and all the stuff Bimmer World sent and Condor sent and oh my gosh. 
All right, well, we got it started. Now it's the fun start of actually getting a track ready. Oh, yeah. Still a long ways to go. So I think where we're at now, the motor obviously in, transmission is on, the dry shaft disconnected, shifter, right. got a sick Bim World race shifter over there yeah. to go in. So we got some work to do on the drive line. Obviously exhaust needs to go on, front clip needs to go on, right. bumper, all that stuff. Uh, we need a couple of washers for the power steering. So about a day's worth of work. Good to go. Yeah. You know, piece of cake. I'm never for a loss of words, and here I am for a loss of words. So I just, I, I can't be, I can't describe how happy I am and how much hard work went into getting to this point from so many people. A um, lot of late nights, and I just feel like it just paid off. And it was an amazing experience the whole way through. So much learned so much learn uh, about this car and just engines in general and pretty uh, pretty incredible process. Um, I highly recommend if you've got the tools and the space to do it and the, and the friends to help, if you ever have to go through this, definitely do it because it's just an amazing learning experience. Wow, I kind of want to wake the neighbors up again. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm just uh, checking the torque specs, torque bolt tight, just making sure that the headers are installed properly on this engine. And uh, I got gloves on because Packer did an awesome job of wrapping these headers with fiberglass wrap, and uh, I've got sensitive princess skin and I don't want a rash. So, yep, here we go. And this is definitely something you're gonna wanna check after your first kind of test run, once you cycle your engine through, uh, you heat cycles a couple times. As it, um, you know, as metal expands and contracts, it'll be out of spec. So, man, you can't fit a torque wrench in any of these other ones. <laughs> At this point in our build project, we are working on mounting this really cool Long Acre Racing Products mirror and. Uh, our cage builder did such a good job getting this thing nice and tight to the roof that we're trying to fit the uh, the clamps on the uh, between the the roof line and the uh, cage. Luckily, you can use pry bars to literally slide it. That's amazing. <laughs> exactly where we wanted. And you thought we weren't getting to get the mirror in. I didn't think we were getting the mirror in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you got there, James? Got uh, some knockoff, well, they're not knockoffs, but they're from Turner Motorsports. They're uh, M3 mirrors. Um, nice. I guess they're power, but it doesn't really matter because they're not going to get hooked up to power. Um, but I just needed I just needed mirrors for these, these kind of throwaway doors. These mirrors are important on the track. Uh, they, say, they say that's true. Yeah. So I'm going to go with it. All right, so we got a lot done tonight. Checked a bunch of torque specs on a bunch of fasteners. Got a mirror mounted, doors on. Uh, overall, car's looking good, and I think we're ready for the shakedown. So let's go over to Summit Point. Right, guys here we are at summit point motorsports park and uh packer came in late last night around one yeah there you go and we're just doing the final touches before we get this car on the shakedowns it's a new motor right yeah do everything yeah get some air back here. yeah thanks have your vents oh, oh yeah that'll help thanks man yeah and i've got zip ties i got plenty of zip ties all right yeah uh you need anything for me josh uh, i'm good right now yeah okay Time has come for the shakedown, man. How do you feel? Man, I am so excited. This has been two years in the making. It feels good to be back. I have so many friends to thank for this, man. I mean, the hours in the garage. For me to get it back into the E36 again, 
It feels like I'm putting on the most comfortable sweatshirt I own. It's just the best. It's awesome. So I'm excited to see how it looks on the gauges. We're going to just do a real easy shake down see how it sounds see how it feels is the power there and just kind of i'm not going to push it this is this is going we're going to do like six tenths out there and then uh build up throughout the sessions today as as the car communicates with me and says i'm good to go so cool all right man have a good drive thank you
Yeah? We got a car. How's she run? Oh my gosh. Really? Just incredible. And this is the best part. So, um, power steering fluid is important too. Yeah, don't forget to put your power steering. Had, for, had forgotten that. So I got a taste of what it's like to uh, do a manual steering rack. Um, so other than that, man, the car was, was awesome. I mean, torque. There were times where I was in fifth that I was just like, I got all I need right here. I don't need to downshift. It was awesome. Well, and this is why we do shakedowns. Looks like a uh, one of the access plugs came off the uh, Vano's cover. So we need to track one down before we go back out. We checked the oil level, everything's good there. No damage to the engine. Um, but a little bit of a mess in the engine compartment. We are uh, borrowing Vano's plug nut from a friend for a session, and then I will re kindly return it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. This is Brian. He's gonna allow me to have another Thanks, session. Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Just bring it back, please. Oh, right, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, so tighten this one down? Oh, and tighten it, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah sorry, yeah. I needed to be more specific. Yes, you do with me. <laughs> Just put this one in here. Funny how that keeps oil in the uh, motor, which is great. Hard to <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'm going back out. We've got lightning and uh, I don't know if I want to put rain tires on or I got everything I wanted to accomplish done in one session today and I kind of want to just, I don't know, I'm just so happy. There you go. <laughs> it's, yeah, another session would be awesome just for the seat time, but uh, I don't want to, I don't want to push fate. All right, and then uh, now it's onto my car, so we're going to get mine at Hyperfest, hopefully, next month, and you'll see both of them on track. Well, folks, that wraps up Packer's car for getting back on track. Like I said, we're going to jump back on my car. I just got to put it back together, and the next time you see it, we'll be at VIR for somewhat Hyperfest. The uh, kind of party celebration style Hyperfest got canceled due to COVID, but we'll still be back at VIR at the end of July, beginning of August. So if you haven't checked out the other parts yet, be sure to check it out. We uh, rebuilt an S50 engine to put it in this car and uh, working on getting my E36 track car back on track. So anyway, signing out from Summit Point Motorsports Park area in West Virginia. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.